athleticism, but it looks like you've packed on some, some weight too. Just talk about kind of transforming your body and kind of what the goals are, what kind of the right fit is for like your, your body type to fit at linebacker. Uh, I just had to put on a lot of weight, start eating the right things. Uh, I had to cut a lot, a lot of sugar. You know, it's kind of hard to do, but uh, I'm from, from the Midwest, so I eat like eating steaks and stuff. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of stuff like that helped me put on weight. You know how much weight you've actually put on since getting to Oregon last year? Uh, I got the Oregon at like 207, and I'm about 228. What's been the toughest thing to cut out of your diet? Uh, ice cream. Cookies and cream ice cream. I'm a big fan, big fan. Uh, dear, yeah, dear, dear, dear in my heart. Um, but it was hard to cut out. Yeah, cookies and cream. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How, how different does it feel on the field with that added weight? I mean, you still feel as athletic as you've always been. And, you know, how different does it feel when you're in the trenches to have that little extra extra weight behind it? Uh, it feels good. I feel like I'm not getting thrown around a lot this year. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's all good. Like, I feel like with my athleticism, I can hold the weight. Uh, working with the strength path and uh, the nutrition staff, like, they help me put on the right weight, not just bad weight. So uh, I feel good when I'm out there. Would you feel like you've done that without losing any speed? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think your game has grown the most since coming to Oregon? Uh, under, just, just understanding the football. Uh, well, coming from Nebraska, like you don't really understand like true like true football, um, especially with defense like this. With a lot of guys that's from the league, you understand like in and out of football, like what offenses are doing, like zone drops, like we actually what you know what football is about. So. Working. Several of your teammates have been singing your praises and saying you've been doing a good job this fall. How do you evaluate yourself and how do you feel like you've done these last couple of weeks? I feel like I've been doing OK, but uh, there's always something you can improve on. You know, high is not too high, low is not too low. Um, there's always something you can get better at. You know, I want to do my part uh, to help the team win championships this year. Are there a few things in particular that you're like really honed in on right now, trying to improve? Uh, in box footwork. Um, Really just, like I said, just get, uh, football knowledge. You know what I mean? Just trying to understand more and more as I learn, as I go on. Coach Lane was pushing defenses with some really great inside linebackers. What's it like to, to learn from him, you know, to be in a position like that in this defense and, um, you know, be a guy who could potentially sort of carry the torch in the future? Uh, it's been really interesting. Uh, you know, he's a mastermind in the defense. Uh, like I said, coming from, like, Nebraska, you don't really learn, like, ins and outs of, like, a defense like that mastermind. So it was really a culture shock. Uh, it took me forever to learn it. Uh, but now I'm in a spot where I feel comfortable, like I know what I'm doing and go, I can make plays fast. You're one of the few players that committed under the previous coaching staff, but stayed when, when Dan and his coaching staff got here. First, was that a, a difficult decision for you? And what was kind of Dan's pitch to you uh, to get you to stay in the team? Um, it was a difficult time around that time, uh, when the crystal ball left, but uh, I feel like this was the home for me no matter who was coaching me. So I was going to slide. I was going to be here no matter what, who was coaching me. But when Dan Lanny came and I knew he had mastermind, he's going to you know, bring the guys that he brought in and yeah, the defensive mastermind, me being inside linebacker, he's going to help me reach the goals and the goals for the team where we want to go. Working mainly with money or Mac? Uh, really both. Uh, I got to learn both positions. I mean, both players, you know, best players play when you, when you know the most on the field. So. You yeah. any work at Jack or just nah, No, nah, no, money and Mac. No, nah, I'll leave that for the big boys. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I just feel like I'll do whatever I do for the team. Um, and if that's money or Mac, where I feel like the coaches put me, so I'll do whatever. That's a lot of play. Just the experience that Jeff has and the leader that Jeff Foss is, just kind of, what kind of a role model is he? Uh, he's a guy that helped me learn the defense. Uh, like last year, I used to sit next to him in meetings. Uh, he's the guy that helped me kind of learn the defense, and uh, I can't wait to be out there ball out with him this year. We've asked a lot of players who are the fastest players on the field this or on the team are this year. A lot of them mentioned you. How do you feel like that speed really sets you apart in this defense? Um, the boys know who the fastest is. You know, that's me. Uh, I think I'm the fastest here. Um, but I think it really does help me when I'm on the field uh, to make the plays that I, put, I make when I'm out there. If not you, then who is it? Fastest guy on the team? Well, if not me, uh, I'll say uh, Roger Pleasant, uh, the freshman, or I'll say uh, Tess Johnson. You mentioned being from Nebraska. Obviously, with the week, last week of news and Big Ten move. I'm not sure when you came out here, if you ever thought about playing close to home and the opportunity that that's going to present, like, what does it mean to you that, yeah, you'll be here where chances are you'll probably get a chance to play at Nebraska at some point in the rest of your career? Uh, I never thought I would, you know, go play closer to home. Um, when I moved and I decided to come out here, I never really thought I'd be playing closer to home at all. I think the closest, you know, when Colorado was in their, uh, in their conference, that's probably the closest I was going to get home to. Um, I mean, it would be pretty cool to, you know, see my family more often, you know, when we travel for games to go down there. But, uh, I mean, that's not really my focus this year. My focus this year is, uh, you know, focus what I can do for the team, what we can do for this year.